Hi, this is Scott Schrader here with a teaching from Parasha Ha'azinu. And uh, I'd like to direct you to a verse in this parasha, Deuteronomy, or Devarim, 32, verse 39. And God says a very interesting phrase here in this verse. Re'u ata ki ani ani hu. See you, or we would just say see, because I, I, or I am, I am he. Now you might think, well, those are some kind of simple words, but I think there's some very valuable lessons in this. Um, first of all, when God, he gives us command, he's telling him, you see. Um, he is not just uh, giving a command with, and just saying that. He is giving the power to give it. It's a declaration at, at the same time. You see. In other words, uh, like when uh, Yeshua would say, let your eyes be, eyes be opened, so to speak, that the eyes would be opened. You would be able to see. The blind eyes would be able to see. He's giving the power that it, that's loaded into that command as you follow it that you will be able to see if you desire it, if you seek for it, if you uh, receive it and step out in it. The power is there uh, for you to see. And God, he doesn't just uh, make physical blind eyes to see, but he makes, he gives you uh, sight spiritually as well. And this is talking about spiritual sight here. God is invoking them to follow him as the only God instead of following other gods in the context. Then we see this word because, um, and, and it, it's, this because is alluding to the reason to see. Uh, the reason is that yod he vav he is, he is he. He alone is God. And this is the reason they're to see. They're to see that. To see that he alone, he alone is God. And there's no other. There, uh, there's no other power. And so he's, he's inviting them into that relationship with him to follow him and not to follow the God, any other gods. Uh, he does the same with us too. And we kind of have this battle in everyday life where we're, we can follow other things or we can follow him. But he's, he's uh, invoking you to follow him. And he, he will empower you as you endeavor to do that. He'll empower you to do it. The phrase I am has to do with God's eternal nature. Um, he exists and we are created. He has always been and, and, and we are created. And so it's his eternal nature. He is. He just is, um, and he has always been. But I want to direct you more right now to uh, the very interesting uh, letters, letter meanings in the word ani. Ani is the word for I or I am, depending on the context. Uh, the first letter is the Aleph, and the Aleph, the ancient symbol was a, was an ox head. It symboli and symbolizes a, a, a servant and a leader or if you combine those two concepts together, it's the it's the concept of carrier. Uh, God carried the children of Israel out of Egypt. Uh, Yeshua carried our sins and our sorrows. Uh, the carrier, you'll see that throughout the Bible, that theme. And so this is that that servant leader. Uh, this is uh, symbolizes Yeshua really, um, uh, the Aleph. Um, he's that carrier. And so in this in this word, first, this uh, the concept of I has to do with being a carrier of something. And the second letter is the noon. The noon is uh, the letter for seed or inheritance. And so this uh, I, uh, that concept of I has to be, uh, is a carrier of an inheritance, some kind of inheritance, some kind of seed. And the last letter is the yod, or the yud, and the yod is... Uh, is the right hand. It's the symbol of the right hand or power or forming. And so as an individual, an individual is a carrier of the seed of power. Now, uh, why would men, uh, why would the Hebrews uh, have this concept? Well, when God created man, um, he blew into him the breath of life. He blew into him that power, that seed of power. And so every human is a carrier of the seed of power. It says that man was created in God's image. Each one of us has that seed of power that comes from God. He is the ultimate I. He is the one who has all power, uh, all the seed of power. In fact, without him, there would be no life. Uh, 
He's the one that uh, generated. He has life in himself. And nature does not produce life uh, in itself. It has to be generated from outside of it to begin with. It just, it, you know, everything goes to entropy. It, it doesn't uh, create life. But God, uh, get, uh, life is the only thing that overcomes the entropy. And so uh, God, he blew breath into man's nostrils. And man became a carrier of the seed of life or the seed of forming. And so each of us has the ability, like God, uh, to be creative, to, to form things. To do things, we have that that seed in us of Him. So each individual, when we say I, we're we're saying from a Hebrew concept, I, I'm one who carries that seed of power. But there is another life. It says that we can be born again of God's Spirit, and so we're born once. Uh, we become a seed of that carrier of life, and and then when we're born again, we even get another more empowering of life uh, from God. Uh, that we can see that we have and we can actually impart to others. And so God has infused that seed in us in both cases. Um, we, and, we, and so how much more uh, power do we have, have those of us who have received the Holy Spirit? And the Holy Spirit has empowered us beyond uh, that initial life. And so we carry a portion of God's seed of power and we can be led of God's Spirit to bring others. Uh, in, in, to be birthed into God's Spirit and His power. And so my encouragement to, you, to those of you who have had the second birth, who carry that power the, uh, of the Holy Spirit, you know, is that the fields are ripe for harvest. And we can all call out to God and say, send me.